The Nations League is back this afternoon. France versus Italy, a big game. Did you see the call-ups from Spalletti? You would want to pull your hair up. Makes no sense, but that doesn't matter because this is not the subject of this video. Uh, we are talking about Didier Deschamps. Didier Deschamps yesterday calling out one of his players, defining the situation as embarrassing. And although that the player had talks with many different teams, he's still out there, a free agent, lounging around, uh, and losing his spot on the French international team. Didier Deschamps said it. If he doesn't practice, if he doesn't have minutes in his legs, if he doesn't play, I can't call him up. Who are we talking about? We're talking about Adrien Rabiot. In my opinion, one of the most talented free agents out there this summer. How does he not still have a squad? Makes no sense. He's a fantastic midfielder. He's under 30 in the prime of his, of his career. A box-to-box -box midfielder. He can defend can help offensively, he can score some goals, he's gifted technically, he's physical, he's a big body. So all the right things to play on big teams. And a lot of big teams have showed interest in him. Of course, we saw Juventus letting him go for free. They didn't want to deal with the uh, agent again, which happens to be his mother. Uh, he was requesting too much money. And this is where the issue is, the money. It's always about the money. These players, not knowing that you're throwing valuable time away because you're under 30, you're in the prime of your career, you're a fantastic player, a lot of teams want you, and yet you're picking and choosing for a million here and a million there. And I know a million dollars is a lot of money. I don't make a million dollars. I would love to get a million dollars. That is not the point. When you make eight, nine, 10 million euros, whatever it is. Now, the reports are saying that he wants between eight and 10 million euros a season and that his mother is asking a lot of commission. Now, um, at one point, you're going to have to choose. Do I want to stay wherever I am and not play and let valuable time pass away? Or do I want to get back on it and maybe sacrifice a million dollars, but at least I get to play on a team that plays for the Champions League that has the possibility to win? Like I know this summer there was interest from Milan as well. Uh, I am 100% sure that Milan had talks with him, but I question the feasibility of this operation. Because let's be honest, Milan has a eternal cap for the salary. Like Leao is the top. So you wouldn't offer Rabiot 8 to 10 million euros a season. And you didn't sign Zirkse because you didn't want to pay too many commissions to the agent. So um, giving him higher than 8 and paying like 10 million euros of commission to uh, his agent made no sense to me. Unless he would have accepted because it was a last minute thing because the summer was coming to an end. And you think to yourself, maybe he's going to sacrifice a bit on his contract or on the uh, commissions in order to sign for a team. Well, it didn't happen and he's still out there. And so uh, maybe he was hoping in the Premier League for some big clubs there or maybe from Real Madrid. There was rumors that he was interested in Real Madrid, uh, but the offers never came. And so at one point you have to make a decision. You have to make a decision. Who are there teams out there that can offer me some good playing time, Champions League soccer, uh, not losing my spot on the French international team? Like those are life changing decisions for a player. And at uh, and on the 6th of September, you're still out there lounging. Makes no sense. He's got a cut somewhere. And uh, Didier Deschamps, that one is absolutely right. Let me know what you think in the comments. I like and subscribe. Are you surprised that Adrien Rabiot? one of the most sought-off free agents out there this summer is still without a team. Have a great soccer team.